Alright, what do we have here? Perch! We got a perch. I'm just using a marabou jig here. And float. Maybe there's more. We got him on his way. Real slow day. So I toned everything down. I covered a lot of water, but um, there were no big game fish out, but there any perch around. I'm just using these here small 132 ounce marabou jigs and a float. That's a regular float. And probably got about 18 inches up the line. And um, bigger game fish are off. So I'm going to see if I can get any kind of panfish out there. I'm working a marabou jig and a float and the sun's going to be setting. Alright, now we've got this guy. Oh, that's a bluegill. Oh. Got a bluegill. Perch. Working the marabou jig. And I guess the water's just heating up now. See if there's anything else out there. None of those things look banged up or anything like that. But I just kind of cast that float out there, let it sit for a second, and I lift the rod tip. That float kind of comes up. It's almost like fishing it, like if you were fishing that jig on a boat. It gives it a vertical presentation rather than horizontal. So that jig is coming across and going down, coming across, going down, and that float is commanding it along with our rod twitches. I'm going to lay it past in there. Let me see. They seem to be tight. Okay. Bluegill perch and just looking for panfish. It's still winter. It's still cold. The water's mighty cold. I don't think I had a bite. There we go. Wow, he's a little bigger. Let's see. Yeah. Winter time. Got some bluegills on the marabou jig. That's a 132 ounce marabou jig. Tied on myself. Those are real fine, fine marabou tips. Use a whole feather for that little bit. I got a regular foam float working today. We'll see maybe there'll be another one hanging in there. And uh, these are just as good as those new things they have out now. I think they are the, they call them the magnets or something, which is kind of like the back end of a jig kind of cut off. That's got to be a... Oh yeah, that's one of those bluegills. We're just nailing these here bluegill now. I wonder where the perch went. We started with the perch. We're actually really relaxing fishing after a long, long, cold winter. Not bad at all. They seem to be tight. The sun's going to be setting. There could be some game fish. Marabou jig in the water. I wouldn't be surprised if I got one. But um, today, this is my light pack. I'm getting a uh, bluegill on uh, smaller marabou jigs. And right now, i got uh, one... 64th ounce. So I'm going to be working 164th or 132 ounce jigs, marabou jigs, uh, with floats. These are not foam floats that I like, like to use. I just kind of threw these in my pack so it had a couple floats. And I'll show you that rig. But we're using marabou jigs and floats today. What's this? What is that? Oh! That is a bigger gill. That is a, the biggest one so far. So we're getting these here. Bluegill. And the marabou jig. I'm going to get him on his way. I just want to use that maybe for the cover photo. And, uh, these here are great. 
kind of just tying myself. It's just a little bit of marabou tip. Not the very tip of the marabou, but close to the tip of the marabou. And I am working the float. Let's see if we get a follow up here. Let's try to Ooh, yeah, that should be a good one. Let's see. You don't have to do nothing with these. Like I said, you just kind of I'll move it a little like that, and that, that jig will kind of come up. So maybe there'd be a good one in there. And actually, they'll come take it, and the resistance from that float sometimes is enough to set that hook for you, too. I thought there'd be a few more hanging like this. Coming back. Oh, okay, we got him. Wow, he's a uh, got bluegills here, pretty thick, and they seem to be getting bigger now. They seem to be getting bigger. That's a good eating size bluegill, and none of them are banged up. That's what I'm looking for. I don't see if any of them are. Kind of beat up or whatnot, but it means that pickerel are out eating them. I haven't seen one beaten up, so that might mean that those pickerel aren't out eating them. It's windy out today, too. I think that's the smallest one yet. It could even be a shiner. We got nice sized bluegills, baby bluegills. We'll probably go to a smaller jig for these guys, probably catch them all day. Sometimes those little guys, they'll hit the jig and the big guy will be right behind them and the big guy will grab it. Don't get discouraged if you lose that first bite. There's always another gill ready to go. And that other gill is going to be a bigger gill. Don't worry about them taking them, missing them. Plenty of them. At least today there's plenty of them. Hey, a black olive, but time is real short. I think in the amount of time for me to put on a black olive jig. I'd have missed about 10 casts. There we go. So I'm gonna ride out this year, chartreuse white. But I really wanted to see, really do want, oh, that's a good one. Uh, there he goes. I really did want to see what I can do with the, the black. Sometimes, that was quick. Let me just show you the setup we got going here now before it gets dark this is the setup we have a marabou jig and a float and that's just a toothpick so that's really easy to adjust i just kind of pull that toothpick out and slide my float let's give it a few more inches for a hex a I'll just kind of toothpick it back on a 164 ounce marabou jig we're using today and uh, you can always bring it back down and get it closer I don't want it to be on the bottom it floats a little big to give us back some information it's not going to swing around but I can always pull that jig back up now, and these are like I said if you use those there what's that oh I thought there was something else Use those there crappie magnets or those panfish magnets. It's all the same concept. It's it's uh they're all jigs. They're all gonna catch fish. It's just what you want to use. I just haven't been having fun flipping around the uh, marabou jigs this year with these little guys. And uh, these cold slow days it really turns it up does get dark quick but uh had a good mess of bluegills in winter time and they're still out there they seem to be sitting pretty i don't see didn't see any signs of anything banging them chasing them beat up so those, there we go what's that is that the biggest one of the day all right colorful one that's for sure that's a colorful sun, sunfish, bluegills. 
Got a pumpkin seed. Very cool. Working with the float and jig. Navigable jig. They're pretty adorable too. You can get a bunch of fish with them. In here, there was about three or four prey birds. One was over there, one was over there, one was over there. And I was like, oh man, those birds are looking to eat something. I guess they were looking to eat those there bluegills. There was something in here. And that, this is light tackle. The way to go about this with the ultra light tackle, foam floats, and the jigs. But this is all, it's all just the well. I'm still looking at it. A little smaller jig, you probably get a whole bunch more. But I'm not worried about that. I'm just, I'd like to see something big and crazy eat that, but not today. There we go. What's that? What's that? Oh, oh, a crappie. Boy, that's a crappie. We got crappie, perch, bluegill. Sometimes those crappie roll in. They roll in. We'll get a follow-up crappie too. It's getting dark and those crappies like to eat in the dark. Oh, very quickly. I don't think you're getting out of here. Let me take a cast there. It's gonna be getting dark, but sometimes you get one of those crappie, there's a whole bunch of crappie behind them. Oh, something was there. Just missed one. Let me see if they if they're thick, they're thick. And crappie do tend to go nuts at night. I've never, you know, I haven't done any videos on them at night, but crappies tend to really roll out in the middle of the night. They're late night eaters. That is a crappie. Like I said, when the crappie roll in, the crappie roll in. Oh wow. We got crappie, perch, bluegill. It's getting dark now. I'm going to get a few more casts in. So this is my last cast. Let's see if we get something wild and crazy. Oh, that to be a bluegill. I'm gonna take one more cast after that. This time. Oh, wait, we got one. He's running crazy too. Whoa, what is he? What is he? That's just a big bluegill. That's the biggest bluegill on the day. got banged up, but I don't think we got banged up before. But I'm getting out of here. It's getting dark now. Thanks for watching.